Alright guys, so uh, I just thought I'd give you guys an update on the project I'm working on with the emissaries here to do a uh, Kador uh, gun carriage. So uh, in the previous video we talked about uh, doing this conversion here. We're essentially using him as a gun carriage and we're going to make two cannons for him to be holding. So here is the first of two that, uh, that I'm making. Um, and uh, essentially I've drilled a hole out here for this post to uh, fit down into and these two uh, pins here made of green stuff or at least filled with green stuff will be holding on a leather strap to strap it down to his arm um, focus in on this here so see uh, this middle part is made of PVC uh, I made some uh, rivets out of um, polystyrene uh, just the evergreen plastic strips this is an evergreen plastics tubing uh, part. Uh, so is this, uh, it's actually a whole uh, dowel of that stuff going through and then I just sort of capped the ends with green stuff and pressed a, uh, a bit of flat sheet plastic in to make the, uh, the flathead screws. Then uh, these parts and the back end here are actually parts from an Imperial Guard uh, Lehman Russ kit for uh, Warhammer 40k. Uh, they're two of the three different size rollers for the treads. Uh, it's the biggest and two of the middle sized ones. So we got uh, that and uh, I'll go ahead and fit this on here just to show you guys how that's gonna work. Sort of a snug fit at the moment but uh, essentially like that and then uh, there'll be a uh, a strap going from this side over to the other side and it'll look like a big leather belt and it'll just sort of hook around his uh, his wrist there. Um, I'm also working on a uh, ammunition clip that'll hang down and it'll have three exposed rounds um, sort of visible kinda like a, a larger version of the bombard cannon on the destroyer uh, also for Kador. So we've got, uh, we got him uh, I'm also thinking that in the uh, back side of the, uh, the cannon here where we've got um, the, uh, this open area in the middle of those pips uh, that I'll put some sort of valve. I kind of want it to look like some sort of uh, um, breech load or able to open up the breech to clean. Obviously, if it, I've got a clip, it's not going to be breech loading. But um, uh, anyway, um, just thought I'd give you guys a look at uh, how this is progressing, and we'll see you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so, and leave comments. Thank you very much.